You'll want to use a retro kit anytime you're switching from one lid to another. In this case, we're switching from the Dart 10 SL to the Dart 16 SL. So to begin the process, we're going to open the door and unhook the springs. You're going to use a flathead screwdriver. Next, you're going to want to remove the housing. There's four screws. These are Phillips. After you remove those, you can simply take the housing off. At this point, you can unload your lids. You're going to want to take this part off here. This is called the lid plate. This is specific to each lid, so it's very important to use the correct one. You can check that you're using the right one by looking at the sticker here and verifying that it's the same one as the lid you're using. So now what we're going to do is we're going to loosen the pagers using the torque wrench provided. There's four screws here. There's two on the top, and then there's two on the bottom. Now you're going to want to use the template provided. When you look at the template, you're going to notice there's three holes on here. There's one at 12, 3, and 9. These are going to correspond to standoffs on the lid saver at 12, 3, and 9. These are simply going to snap into place. And then again, using the torque wrench provided, you're going to bump these up against the template and tighten them down clockwise. These will have to be moved up. Now it's very important to remove the template when you're done. You're going to take the lid plate that came with the unit with your retro kit. You're going to take this foam peanut off. You're going to place this right here and you're going to turn this clockwise. You're just going to want to turn this until it stops. You don't want to over tighten it. Next, we're going to switch out our claws. To do that, you're going to unfasten two screws. Now you're going to use the screws and the new claws that are provided. You're going to make sure that you're using the correct ones by looking on the back. When you're looking at the unit, this will be the left and this will be the right. The claws are marked A and B on the back. A will go on the left, B will go on the right. It's easier just to take the screws and start them before putting them on the door. And using a flathead screwdriver, simply screw them back into place. At this point, you can check to make sure that your lid saver is working. Simply place the lids back in. Just try it a few times to make sure that everything works. If you're happy with how it's dispensing, you can put the housing back on. You reattach it with the four Phillips screws. And the final step will be to bring the springs back to the door using your flathead screwdriver.